I love editing, but my experience with one program was so mind-bogglingly terrible that it almost made me quit. And now, I feel like I'm left with a genuine obligation to warn prospective users. The dumpster fire in question is Videopad, a mid-level program from the moderately shady NCH software. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it doesn't do what it promises to. It will edit your videos. But whether or not you actually make it to exporting them is anyone's guess. A step above Windows Movie Maker, and several basements below everything else, Videopad is a pretty bare-bones and streamlined editing software. It's really only fit for home movies, but that doesn't stop them from charging much more than that. NCH makes their money by offering different licensing levels, including a free version, whose download link they conveniently located right next to their free trial. Or maybe there never was a free version, because clearly, I wasn't the only one with this problem. Now sure, maybe it's my fault I couldn't decipher the nearly identical unlabeled links, but with the frequency this mix-up occurs, it feels somewhat intentional. But to be honest, if I had a product like theirs, I think entrapment would be pretty attractive as well. And I mean, who cares about user satisfaction when you have no public customer service lines? You gotta pay for those. You know, like any other normal functional company that isn't a scam. So basically, free version or not, you're gonna have to pay up if you want to export a finished product out of Videopad. Which, in a cruel twist of fate, actually works out in their favor, because while the souls of trapped videos definitely flood the one-star reviews, it helps hide the fact that many other users have left real criticisms of the software and helps them trick nervous users who just want their content and time back into buying their product. I was already going into it with concerns, but when your video is trapped and there's a timed sale, it's hard to dig through them enough to find the real objections. I mean, sure, the company's scummy, but it'll work fine as an editing software, right? I mean, do you think so? Not to say that it isn't functional, to a degree. In the same way that my knockoff GoPro technically records things, I miss But never have I ever had anything fuck up as badly as when I used Videopad. It may look like an editing software, but it most certainly does not want to edit. I mean, right off the gate, there's a plethora of arbitrary restrictions, and while it appears to have options to do plenty of features, a surprising amount of them don't actually work and in some cases, disappear over time. Which is something I've never seen. And I didn't realize it in the moment because my computer isn't exactly a powerhouse, but the performance on Videopad is hilariously bad. If Premiere Pro can handle my garbage, Videopad should have been able to zoom in on a single still image without stuttering like a crack fiend. That alone is enough to be angry at Videopad, but that wasn't my issue. I can handle bad performance. I, I did handle bad performance. What my real issue was, is that when I had finally finished the video and exported it, it gave me half. Not that it would crash halfway through rendering, just that it would export half the video. The progress bar would get up to 50%, stall, and then Videopad would just kind of give up and export half my video. Most of the footage was normal, it stuttered, and then just done. Now of course, I tried exporting a couple more times and with different formats only to get the exact same results. It started rendering again once I deleted the problem area, only to crash 30 seconds later. At that point, I was okay with just exporting 30 second increments and Frankensteining it together. But Videopad had other plans. From that point on, every time I exported, it gave me exponentially worse. To the point where I was literally rendering by the second. I tried rendering from previous versions, but to my everlasting delight, Videopad had corrupted them back to basically when I started editing the video. Looking down the barrel of 10 plus hours of work, I went to the forums, only to find that everyone there was equally unhelpful which was wildly reminiscent of my coding days. Lot of questions, literally no answers. 
I would have called their telephone support, but you have to pay a multi-tiered monthly fee just to talk to them. Which at that point, I was fully refusing to pay out of spite. Which I think was a good call, because even if you listen to the regular users, they don't get back to you anyways. At a certain point, I died inside and ended up literally recording the second half with OBS, only to splice it together in another project, and... Despite my best efforts, the moment VideoPad decided to give up is painfully obvious. And yes, my eternal shame is still on YouTube. Zero out of ten, wouldn't get scammed again. And also, they downloaded a bunch of other applications I definitely didn't want that were all super difficult to uninstall. I mean, I think I still have some of them. And this hasn't been everyone's experience. There's plenty of people that are probably not bots that have claimed to use VideoPad for home movies or school projects and had no issues. But with such great resources as DaVinci Resolve being free, I can't fathom a reason you would want to pay for such an unstable garbage pile. Or support such a trashy company. But don't just take it from me. Before you make your decision, listen to all these other satisfied customers. Really fun. I really like this app. I make videos with my cousins all the time. And even though they prefer iMovie, in some ways, this app is slightly better than iMovie. I don't know a lot about iMovie, but I'm pretty sure that you can't add text. So I definitely recommend this app. It is fun and creative and really, really cool. Five stars out of five. Epic, oh yeah. It is amazing, I love it, oh amazing. I would give it one million stars, yeah. My kids love it, colon D. Five stars, must download. This app is amazing. It's like the old Windows Movie Maker on Microsoft Windows XP. Four stars. Good, but one thing. This is a good editing app, but can you add the videos and photos? People are saying it's confusing, and yes, it's confusing at first, but that's why they have a help button that says help. You can put text and slides and pics and videos, etc. into your video. Cons. Sometimes when narrating, it gets choppy at some times. I can't seem to make a background for my video. My autistic son loves this. It's okay, but it's not that good. I think they need to change it. Have you ever had a nightmare experience with some software or program? Tell me down below in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Ponji Ninja, and check out these channels for lending their vocal talents to my delirious rant. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys next time.